What is up everyone? Dizzle here, back with another PC build. This time around, I'm finally getting around to make some video. It just took me a while because I've had some issues. But this is my Dell Optiplex 780 that I got uh, a little while ago, not crazy long ago, but I picked it up for only 120 bucks, which was a good deal for me at the time, and because it comes with the Core 2 Quad CPU, which is Intel's only quad core, I believe, before the i5 series. I'm 90% sure on that, but yeah, I wanted to piece out because I've seen some videos and it seems like the Core 2 Quad still might have some gaming potential on it to a extent. But this another big draw when I got this thing was it came with Windows 7 and I don't know what was wrong. I've tried everything under the book, get it working properly, and especially when the, the Windows 10 upgrade was still going on for free. It was just a absolute month of frustration. I could not get a single thing working on this thing. So finally, I just had enough and decided I'm going to make this my Linux gaming rig. So you see, I just showed off the two new parts I'm going to be throwing in there, especially with the new hard drive that I got in there. But I'm not including that because I just junked the other one because it was pissing me off. And I just want to start fresh. But yeah, I got the system for 120 got my GT 740 which I'm going to be throwing in there that I bought for 60 bucks half a year ago and then I'm throwing in a single 4 gigabyte stick of DDR3 RAM pretty sure it's 1333 speed that I picked up from my uh, local computer store around here for only 20 bucks but you see I just took out the old RAM and this shit was running DDR2 1 gigabyte sticks and, and two of them it, it was sad pretty sad yeah, it's, don't want that RAM in this rig at all. Now I have my GT740 successfully installed, along with the RAM, and I've heard put, people putting 750s in these Optiplexes, but even with my 740, it's going to be pushing that power supply a little bit, but it should be just enough to work properly. But yeah, just about to get this bad boy all put back together, and time to load up Ubuntu. Alright, got Ubuntu successfully installed. It was a lot easier than trying to get SteamOS. I originally was trying to get SteamOS on here, but it just refused to work. So I just, th this was the main reason I went ahead and done Ubuntu. But yeah, see here, I got Steam going. And I'm currently downloading some games. Not doing any really big titles this video. But I'm just going to play the the really popular free to play games that are currently out for Linux and they're going to include Team Fortress 2, Dota, and War Thunder because I want to see how, how those games handle on this rig first. Now everything is ready to go. This is how I'm rocking my setup. Got the uh, old gaming mouse and keyboard. It's a cheap set. It's from the Game Dios series. I think I've done a review on that not too long ago. I'm not sure but yeah, I got that plugged in now because I'm using the wireless keyboard and mouse for my HTPC now and you see now I got my little Wi-Fi thing sticking up there because Linux is horrible with picking up Wi-Fi but I noticed I got a lot better better signal have it sit up here than in the back of the PC so yeah now time to hop on and see how this baby handles
there you go guys that is my little Linux gaming rig and they all the tiles held up pretty well this I'll say the only time I had any problems was with a little bit of lag and that was pretty much my internet connection for the most part but everything held up really well especially for this old quad core and I'm debating about where to get a copy of Windows 10 and actually trying some bigger games out on this but let me know if you want to see that in the comments but I had fun with this little build hope you guys enjoyed hope this helped with anything you were looking for or testing and see if it worked or not but anyways guys I'm Dizzle hope you had a good one and as always peace out